And welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's High School Football Team Previews. And now we are joined by the Howell Highlanders. Um, we're joined by head coach Brian Lewis. Um, coach, before we get to the players, uh, I just want to, of course, this is your first year doing this. Uh, of course, you came, um, didn't have to go very far, came from the division. Of course, you were at Plymouth last year, and now you're at Howell. Uh, what's it been like in, in this first year? I know it's been crazy for you. Yeah, it has been nuts, but, you know, Howell, uh, Howell's been fantastic. You know, the people in Howell have been fantastic. The kids have stepped up. You know, it's a little different for them, but uh, our kids have stepped up. They've answered the bell. Um, had really good participation so far throughout our, our uh, off-season activities and, and all those type of things. So uh, just just fired up to be around the kids and fired up uh, that the kids have been receptive to, to a little bit of change and, uh, that that piece has been really good for us. Um, talk about the players you brought on here today. Yeah, we got uh, two of our senior leaders, uh, Grant Porter, uh, returning to your starter. Um, obviously, it, his resume speaks for himself. Um, he's a guy that that uh, hopes to play at the next level and has the ability to play at the next level. And uh, same thing with Marcus Chidister. Uh, Chid is uh, going to be a two-year starter for us um, this year and uh, expect big things out of him. And he's just a guy that's, a, that's an absolute grinder, tough kid, uh, gives us a little bit of an identity with his toughness and, and the way he approaches it day to day and his work ethic. And um, yeah, we're expecting big things out of both these guys. Oh, by the way, just so everyone knows, Grant's on next to my left and next to Coach Lewis is Marcus, just, just for clarification. All right, guys. Um, You've been around this field um, for a while. Um, what's it like having a new head coach? Uh, I think it's just everyone's open to change, and it's cool to see, like, have experience a, a change in your four-year high school tenure that you get. Uh, experiencing two completely different play systems is, I think, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely, I think, for me, it helps me expand my football knowledge. And I think that helps everyone as well. So I, I definitely all about that. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as Grant. It's like we're two it was two different styles of coaching. I feel like where Coach Lewis is really intense, and it gives you a different view of how like different coaches you might experience at the next level or whatever. And I think what Grant said expands our football knowledge because the offense is completely different. So we're expanding where we were at before with that. So we're just learning a lot. You know, how have you guys handled all the, uh, the, all the restrictions and the precautions that uh, have come about by the pandemic? Well, we, uh, you know, as far as spacing and all those things, I mean, that's just the cards were dealt, you know. Uh, no, no reason to cry over spilt milk or anything like that. It just is what it is. So, you know, we're trying to do a good job being socially distant. We're trying to do a good job of keeping uh, everything sanitized, everything clean. And, you know, we're in the midst of a pandemic, people. I mean... What are, you, what are we going to do? You know, they, they tell us the guidelines, they tell us the rules, and try and abide by those the best we can. And, of course, um, uh, you know, as, as players, of course, dealing with this, and, of course, as, as, um, as people that have been around this program for a while, what's it been like, um, you know, for you guys adjusting all this? Uh, I mean, at first it was kind of tough getting used to it, but now we're all used to it and it's nothing new. I mean – we're used to being separated a little bit more than we're used to, but we just make it work with what we've got. We've got our group of guys that we're with a lot, and we've been getting a lot of work in individually with our position coaches and stuff, which I think has helped a lot. So, it's, I mean, a lot of good things come from it too. Yeah, being able to adapt and being resilient and understanding that you have this is your situation and you got to make the most out of it, I think is just what's held everyone together. So I, I think it's it's been perfectly fine as – compared to any other year yeah I mean uh, this is this is going to be this is going to be an interesting year for us and of course this is a team that is expected to do a lot of big things around and especially here in Livingston County I know that the two rivalry games did not go your way last year what's it like to play teams like Heartland and teams like Brighton uh it just it just brings like a a feeling that you just you want right after losing it's just a, a vengeful feeling that I know it's something that always stays in the back of my mind whenever I'm thinking about football and that's something that I want to go into this year knowing that we're gonna get 
both of those games done and we're going to walk away and we're going to hopefully we're gonna, not going to hopefully we're going to go on to the playoffs and those are two games that we need to win and I think that right now we're going to we're going to do it yeah I mean like you said we lost both games last year and I think this year all of us are going in and we're ready we're expecting to go in there and take care of business when we play those two teams and I'm excited to, to get to those weeks and play them again get a revenge from last year all right, all right, guys, thank you so much for uh, coming on and taking some time, and we, I really appreciate this. Thanks, Casey. Thanks for the coverage thank you. for all you thank do, you. man.